Hi, my name is Amelia. I'm a public health educator at Maine General Medical Center. This presentation covered basic information on bacterial infections and drug use. There are a lot of health risks associated with substance use. In particular, most health risks are associated with injection drug use. The health risks associated with injection drug use are broken down into three categories. Drug-related, technique-related, and hygiene-related. How can you get bacterial infections from drug use? Because injection drug use involves directly injecting into the bloodstream, this creates a variety of moments when bacteria can enter your body. There can be contaminants in the water, for example, there are contaminants in tap water, stagnant water, and reused water. There can be bacteria or fungi in dirty filters, including used cottons or cigarette filters. Bacteria can also be transmitted by sharing drug needles or works, the equipment, including cookers, and all contain bacteria that can be potentially fatal. Lastly, bacteria can be transmitted from someone's skin, either on their hands or on the injection site. All these routes are where bacteria can enter a shot. These bacteria can enter the body and cause potentially fatal diseases and infections like a dirty hit, which is when you take a shot and you either are to develop very quick symptoms or very long-term symptoms that can include sweating, fever, and a headache. The symptoms from a dirty hit can pass on their own, but may need medical attention if they worsen. Blood poisoning or septicemia is also caused by bacteria. Symptoms include chills and a fever. Please seek medical attention because blood poisoning can be fatal. Bacteria can also cause endocarditis or infection of the heart valves, which is when bacteria builds up in the heart valves. For example, if the bacteria staph enters your bloodstream, it can cause skin boils or even endocarditis. Endocarditis can cause a heart murmur, fever, or chest pain. Seek medical attention because endocarditis can require a valve replacement and it can be fatal. The tetanus infection occurs when a tetanus bacteria enters your bloodstream. Symptoms include muscle spasms, muscle problems, and lockjaw. Tetanus is vaccine preventable and booster shots can help prevent a tetanus infection. If untreated, tetanus can be fatal. Flesh-eating virus or necrotizing fasciitis is from blood-to-blood -blood contact when sharing needles or through contaminants in black tar heroin. Symptoms of flesh-eating virus include redness, pain, and swelling on the site, and eventually decay of flesh around the injection site. It needs to be treated with antibiotics early on because it can be fatal. Wound botulism occurs when bacteria enters the body and produces a toxin. It has also been linked to the black tar heroin. Symptoms of wound botulism include paralyzing muscles, droopy eyelids, blurred vision, and sore throat. Early treatment is essential so that muscles that control breathing don't fail. Those are a variety of bacterial infections from drug use. So how can we prevent these infections? First, don't share any drug use equipment. Don't share needles, cookers, cottons, or waters. If you must reuse a needle, understand that it may cause damage to your skin and could introduce bacteria into your body. If you don't have access to sterile needles, make sure you clean the needle very thoroughly before you use. If sterile water isn't available, you can boil water on a stovetop to kill bacteria and then allow that water to cool. Do not use water if it has been sitting out for an extended period of time because it can grow bacteria. Needle exchanges supply materials like clean cottons, cookers, or tins, needles, and sterile water packages. Additionally, needle exchanges offer supplies like alcohol prep pads and triple antibiotic ointment. It is recommended that you use alcohol or antiseptic on your skin prior to injection and wash your hands thoroughly before using drugs. This will reduce the chances that you put bacteria into your bloodstream.